By supporting the Hood Sprite Endangered Species Center, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you. Well, the most incredible costumes and also fashion, but that's not the only highlight that went down at the Ecologic Awards. Some of the most sustainable guests gathered and celebrated how to look after our environment. We're very excited this morning because Pick and Pay were honored with the great measures that they are taking to ensure that they make sustainable choices. Now in studio today, uh, we have David Perry Davis. Uh, he's from the Ecological Awards. We also have Andre Nau here, General Manager for Sustainable Development Pick and to tell us more about what happened over the weekend with the events. David and Andre, welcome to the show. Thank Morning. you, Fazi. David, I'm going to start with you. The Ecological Awards. Tell me more about it. What is it? Well, the Ecologic Awards are intended to empower the consumer and show the consumers those individuals, those organizations, those products, those services that are operating in a more ecological way and to say to them, use your consumer power, buy from the people who do care and who are aware. I like that. Buy from the people who care and who are aware. And of course, Pick and Pay is all about that. Andre's looking at me as in, you know what? That is how it is. Exactly. Now, Andre, first of all, I want to say Pick and Pay was the winner of the Energy Saving Award. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, as a business, what is Pick and Pay doing to conserving energy? Um, we're doing a huge amount. Um, firstly, uh, thank you for a great award, David. Um, Pick and Pay, one of the key things that we've done, for example, is to do online metering in our store. So we can centrally now see electricity usage in all the departments in, in all our stores. We've also installed things like solar at our DCs, at our distribution centers, and a lot of focus from our side also on communication because we have to educate our staff to really conserve energy. Conserving energy, and I look at the fact that we even award the, this behavior with an award. David, why is an award like this important? Enough doom and gloom. You know, we've had since 1992, the Rio Earth Summit, people have identified that we've got environmental problems. Mm. What's changed since then? Not enough. If anything, things have got worse. And that's because basically people have been focusing in on the symptoms, the pollution, etc., and not the solutions. So we need to be looking at the, the, the causes of the problem, which is the mindset, mm. and celebrating that and empowering people, making them feel good rather than uh, feeling bad and, and running away from the issues. Well, celebrate your choices indeed. Andre, businesses in general, we look at this and we see that you're putting a lot of emphasis and also the same amount in conserving or, or conserving energy rather. Do you think that people focus as a business more on conserving energy than on price increases? I mean, is that more important to us than price increases itself? I think in locally a lot of focus is on energy conservation because of the, the price increases. But I think it's very limiting for a business to only focus on that. It's important to, to really do a lot of work with your employees, is to think about all your products and start reframing them to, to be more sustainable. Because the world around us is changing, both the environment, the social setup is changing. So it's important not to only focus on one component of, of sustainability. I look at this and immediately I go, you know what, if I'm a business owner, is it expensive? How do I start? I'm a small business owner. How do I go about in making my business eco-friendly? David? Well, there is a book we've been publishing for the last uh, 13 years, the Envirepedia, but it's also online. Uh, and in that, you can look up any subject, for example, waste management, and it'll link you to the organizations who are involved with that. So that's, there, there's an immediate source, and that's a South African uh, reference work. Okay, well, Andre, you are already doing it. Yeah, I think the easiest way also, you know, there's great resources available, but just start thinking about being a more efficient business. You know, if you don't want to think about green and sustainability, become a more efficient business. Use less water, use less electricity, create less waste. So it's things that you feel in your pocket that creates money for you as a business. So it's changing your mindset to become closer to nature because nature is actually really, really efficient. Mm. I'm just looking in terms of the award that you received and also uh, the fact that we know that you're a, a business that believes in eco-friendliness, that's sustainable. Is it expensive for you as a business? Initially it is expensive, especially if you're thinking to you know, the sort of scale of Pink Pay. So initially, we did need to invest. But in terms of electricity, for example, we've, we've saved more than 320 million rand that we would have saved if we didn't go down this route. So there are some investments needed, but the long-term benefits in having a sustainable business, you know, it's, it's worth much, much more than that. Okay, well, exciting stuff, David. All the best to you and Andre. Really appreciate it. Well, from awards and how to look after the earth to people who are celebrating festivals, and this time around, the 18th Rotary River Festival. This time with a twist. Think the longest washing line. <laughs> 